Ingredients We're going to squeeze the lemon juice on top of the schnitzel or cutlets. Gives them a wonderful taste at the end. How to make First, you want to trim off any visible tendons. Ours is okay. It's already been cut off. Or maybe just here. There's one. I'm gonna remove it. And then, if there's any flaps of tenderloin hanging here, you also want to cut them off. But this has already been removed by my butcher. So next, lay the chicken down with the flat, with the smooth side facing upwards. Place your hand on top and cut along the rounded side. So we're just going to butterfly it like that. Do the same with the other one. The cut side. So I'm just laying them on plastic wrap and we're going to use our mallet to just pound on them so that they get flatter and thinner and that will just help them to cook faster. Next I'm going to use my mallet to just pound the chicken pieces. We are looking for about a quarter of an inch thick. So um, next we want to make the breading and I'm just going to combine in my soup dish one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of paprika. I'm using um, smoked paprika, some margarine, half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Then I'm adding the gluten-free panko, but as I said earlier, you can use regular panko. And then I'm just going to add the parmesan cheese and combine. And if you can, it's actually nice if you grate your own parmesan cheese, but I just couldn't find that at my local supermarket here and I just quickly bought what they had. Next, I'm just going to whisk the eggs uh, with the mustard. So I've just transferred the egg and mustard mixture to my soup plate. It makes it easier to work with. I think my other bowl was too small. Yeah, and we're going to proceed. You want to lay the chicken pieces on the egg mixture. Just setting that aside and then coating it with the panko and cheese breading so i'm just going to repeat the process for all the pieces into a spray my air fryer with some cooking oil and then I'm going to lay the chicken schnitzel pieces on top we don't want to stack them I think I'll be able to feed two and then I'm also spraying some cooking oil on top I'm going to cover them 
And then I am going to set the temperature and I'm going to set the time for 10 minutes. It's at the five minute point, I'm just going to turn it. So this are halfway done and I'm just going to flip them so we can have them cooking evenly. And then I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to use my cooking spray and just spray the surface so, so it doesn't end up being too dry. And if you don't have cooking spray, you can also just um, use some olive oil, just drizzle a tablespoon or so on top. So um, I'll close the lid of my air fryer. And one thing, I'm using the Ninja Foodie but the recipe remains the same regardless of the type of uh, air fryer you're using. So I'll just set the time again and we'll be ready to go. Look at that, nice golden brown and crispy. These are also juicy on the inside but without the extra grease. Way healthier than the traditional method of making schnitzel. And I'm just going to fry the last two pieces, making sure to shake off excess breading. Once done, serve them hot with a side of your choice. I like to serve mine with some mushroom gravy and a squeeze of lemon juice. Enjoy!